Here we have the Hot Wheels Drone Sweeper. I don't remember seeing this in the stores. Uh, the movie was out, the movies I should say, uh, 2004, 2005. It was a cartoon network. I was more interested in collecting the 164 scale cars. As you can tell, the Drone Sweeper is huge. That's because it's a toy. And at the time, my son watched all four of the movies. I didn't uh, watch them. I watched the first one with him and that was it. I was more interested in the toy cars. Anyways, the Drone Sweeper turns out to be the, the villain's car in the movie. This thing's huge. It sucks up the accelerators. And uh, Now in the movie though, it doesn't have clear sides like this. These are uh, clear sides. You can see inside. Check out uh, this screenshot I got from the movie. The front of the sweeper looks pretty much the same. There you got the uh, turning wheel. It's uh, designed a little bit different, but uh, it does the same thing as far as sweeping the cars right in. The drone sweeper takes four C batteries. Here you take a bottom look at the, the wheel. It's a rubber wheel. Very safe for the cars. But I turn it upside down so you can see this part. This is really cool. You can leave it like that. Or if you want to connect a piece of track, you can just slide it right on. And then you can have cars get sucked straight in. But as you're also going to find out, the cars can come right back out. There are three switches that you need to know about in order to operate or to use the toy. This switch right here opens it up so that if you want to play inside or if your cars get jammed you can just get in here and unjam it because sometimes when the cars get swept in they turn upside down so that is the uh, opening switch I'll show that in a second this switch here if you pull it backwards that's for the cars to come in and if you push it forward it's for the cars to be released outwards And finally, the button up on top, this button right here, as you can tell, it operates these uh, two switches. So when the cars are in and they get sucked in, they come around right here, and then they'll line up. This will let the car exit. Let's go ahead and turn it on and uh, show it in action. Now, when I was trying to help my son complete his set of Acceleracers cards, we, uh, I opened these up at the top, and then I took the cards out so that he can complete his set. But uh, hey, today is a pretty good, good day. Let's go ahead and release some of these cars. Here's a baseline. You guys know him and from the uh, movie for sure, especially you young guys. Technidium. Excelium or Excelium, I'm not sure. Octanium, and Nitrium. I did those uh, before I turned on the uh, batteries because this thing's going to be loud. I didn't mention it, but this area right here spins a little slowly, so this way when the cars get launched in, it kind of brings them around, and then they line up on the other side. Now that uh, I have it opened up, you can check it out for yourself.
Did any of you guys get this when you were a kid or when uh, uh, maybe if you're an adult? I do not remember seeing this in the stores. Not at all. I was only focused on the smaller cars. I don't rem I don't know how much this sold for. I seen like the uh, hyper pods and stuff. But anyways, um, if uh, you did have it, who got it for you? And what stores did they have it? And how much did you play with it? Because I think this is a fantastic toy. It's like a little sh little shop vac, but uh, man, this thing's a lot of fun. Now I'm going to take the switch and I'm going to push it forward. And that's going to allow the cars to be shot out. Now, I told you this is the drone sweeper. This is actually one of the racing drones. These were the bad guys in the movie. This is original Accelerator. We'll go ahead and put them in here. But I have these recolors of Accelerator's models. We have the Power Rage. Let me look to make sure. Power Rage, Iridium, and Riveted. Let's go ahead and uh, blast those cars over there. Oh yeah, the wheels, this thing really rolls. It's not just for decoration. Look at that big wheel, man. Very, very scary. Uh, I showed you, I demonstrated I had a piece of track. That's just so it made it easier for me to shoot them right in. But let's just go ahead and fill it up without the track. The Hot Wheels Accelerators Drone Sweeper. This thing's one of the coolest toys I've ever seen. Bye bye. On a side note, if you see any of my viewers referring to this thing as a loaf of bread, uh, let me give you some of the history uh, why they call it the loaf of bread. In this video here, uh, I got a box from Prelude Dragster, and I also showed some uh, eBay pickups, and the seller shipped the drone sweeper in a just bubble wrap and brown paper. Check it out. That's what I do. Entertaining video. This eBay purchase. I told you I'm buying stuff. I bought myself a loaf of bread. Ready to go. Actually, uh, I bought this thing, and look how they packed it. Wrapped in bubble wrap and brown paper. Come on, man. My viewers didn't notice that I actually hid the drone sweeper behind a box. You can see it peeking out on the right side in this video called Heads Up, the USA Walmart Dump Bin. It was dated April, May 20th, 2012. Hey, I gotta go do a party, but in case you didn't know, Walmarts are getting dump bins again, so you want to keep your eyes open. But then, on May 22nd, I did a video for the DW1 vs. Super 69 Camaro. I did a discussion, and I put up a box to hide the drone sweeper because I wasn't ready to talk about it yet. And sure enough, in the middle of my video, uh, I exposed the drone sweeper to get these. This is what I want. Or maybe I want something else like uh, I'm picking up some of the old uh, Hot Wheels play sets. Let's see. I'm just saying, when you trade, you got to know what you have. 
Andy cars. You just wait, that stuff's just not worth anything after a while. Needless to say, my viewers were very excited and they wanted me to do the review as soon as possible. Uh, so on May 23rd, I had to do up the very next day, I had to do my video for unboxing of the loaf of bread. I had actually already uh, opened it up, but uh, I know some of you guys. it just shows you the bad packing. Thankfully, the thing arrived okay. By the way, this is the good one. So there's the drone sweeper that I uh, bought. I already showed you guys that was the loaf of bread. Remember that one? But anyways, that looks like it's about the same size. Let's see. Look at that. In a box, bubble wrap, nice paper on all the sides. <laughs> You might, wow, look at those two different colors. What's up with that? I wonder if this one got left in the sun. It's kind of faded. And this is the one that actually came in the brown paper. It works just fine, but uh, I got this from the UK. Even though it's in a different country, all the stickers, I think that uh, it's faded. I think they left it out in the sun. I can't imagine that Mattel released a different color in the UK, but I don't know. I didn't even know this thing existed when I was collecting. So, anyways, don't forget, let me know uh, if you had this as a kid. Did you enjoy playing with it? And how much? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.